Now, listen to me. Listen to me. Y'all know I'm not a big stickler for people snatching my videos down, posting them, trying to get your YouTube dollars. I ain't got a problem with that because I believe I'm here to help everybody eat. I'm here to help everybody eat. So if I can help you, okay, my DVD guys, y'all sell my DVDs, y'all know I don't care. You feel me? I, that's never been an issue for me. That's how I became who I became. So I'm not going to stop my people on the street from eating. Do you feel me? But I do need y'all to be more responsible. I need y'all to be more responsible. There's a brother on YouTube named Blacker. I think y'all know who I'm talking about. His YouTube is B-L-A-K-K-E-R. He might be the one that does the 60,000 views videos. Do y'all know who I'm talking about? Blacker. Well, listen, I need y'all to send Blacker on YouTube a message. He's the main one that takes my Facebook videos and turns them into YouTube videos on his page. He got a lot of my videos. And guess what, my brother? I'm not going to stop you on that right now. But there's two things you're doing I don't like. Number one, when you post the video, you give it a title that is not representative of the heart of my message is not representative of the intention of that message so i need you to stop misrepresenting my message i need you to be more responsible and this ain't just for blacker this for all of y'all if you want to post my videos on youtube the title better be appropriate and responsible the title better be appropriate and responsible okay well i'm gonna get it snatched down on copyright because it's still mine so i'm just letting you use it it's my intellectual material you understand me it's mine but i will let you use it if you can be responsible give my titles appropriate labels number two the picture that you use to represent me better be professional i am a black professional i am a doctor do you understand there's enough pictures of me in nice dashikis there's enough pictures of me with a calm face there's enough pictures of me with a suit and tie on you can choose dashiki, you could choose suit and tie, but you showing a picture of me making a certain expression, tongue hanging out my mouth when I'm trying to articulate and using that as the picture, that's not representing me well. I'm going to get your page shut the hell down. I'm not playing that in 2017. Don't be using no misleading, ridiculous looking ass poses of me. That's number two. Okay? Number three, when you edit, do not take comments out of context. When you edit, do not take comments out of context. And the fourth thing, don't be posting no negativity at all. Don't. So all of you, I'm telling you now, share the word. I'm about to go on the YouTube hunt. And anybody who got some negative title, ridiculous looking photo of me, or a clip that I feel does not represent what we need to be doing as a people. Anything negative on your YouTube with my content, I'm getting the whole page shut. <laughs> yeah, you're about, I don't know, maybe six years too late because you have literally hundreds, if not thousands of your content by random YouTube channels in which you still don't have your own YouTube channel to this day. You need to do a lot of searching because your content is everywhere on YouTube, okay? So I wanna to respond to this apology, family. Um, that clip I just played, that's where I could stop playing the video because I really wanna to respond to that particular, um, th I guess, threat to everybody. He's, he's called out everybody who has his videos, especially the negative videos, he want them to take it down. He's like, see, Six years too late. <laughs> There's so many videos like six. You know, when I first discovered Dr. Umar Johnson, you know, back in 2013 and you guys can check my history. You know, I have interviewed Dr. Umar Johnson. I brought him down here for in South Florida for lectures, um, filmed him, you know, can't take away his gift as a great orator. OK, he's a great orator, great lecturer. Um. I would say he is a good organizer. He knows how to organize things. Well, he knows how to put good ideas together to organize. As far as getting those things accomplished, I have not seen that done yet. I mean, the school is a good idea, but that's basically in one state. That's not affecting um, people in different states, right? So that's why I would say you got to focus on local politics, you know, focus on group economics, 
get a get a, a base foundation of group economics and focus on politics, right? Um, but uh, yeah, family. Before I go into further detail, because I'm kind of like running off at the tangent. Before I start on my commentary with uh, Dr. Umar Johnson, apology. If you're new to the channel, once again, my name is Chauncey, aka the Black Separatist. On this channel, I talk about counter racism. I also talk about issues that affect black people collectively as a group, and I offer my suggestions on how to replace this broken system of injustice, this broken system of racism, which is white supremacy, with a system of justice. So if you are new and you subscribe to that ideology, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you don't agree to that ideology, go ahead and live out your fantasies in 2017. Troll, hate, watch, do what you want to do, because at the end of the day, you are just a statistic, as I keep saying. Anyway, family, um, he's basically, like I played in the clip, he's talking about, well, if you, if you got anything negative, you know, on, on YouTube, I'm going to get it shut down. You know, what I noticed about Dr. Umar Johnson, again, like I said, not taking anything away from his, you know, gift as a great orator, a great lecturer, gives out, you know, good information, some great information, huge, huge following, um, huge influencer, you know, he still has a following, you know. Um, <clears throat> he does not know how technology works. It's, it's that simple. Uh, when you post something on a social media site, such as a Facebook it's going to get shared. Um, if it's deleted, it's still on their servers. Okay, the engineers at Facebook can still go ahead as evidence if the FBI or some kind of government organization wants to do an investigation on someone. They can tap into their servers and get the information. So anything that you post on their servers, which is not things that we run, black people, we don't own or control none of these companies: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. YouTube, Google, we don't own or control the infrastructure. All we are using is their particular infrastructure for our so-called platforms. We don't even have any platforms. All right. We're using their platforms to have a voice, if you will, in social media. That's what it's all about. So anytime you post something on these particular um, websites, a Facebook, a, a, a YouTube, etc., it's there forever. Okay. Um, so him not understanding that whatever you post on these sites is going to be reposted, especially if you go on a tangent like you did with, uh, against, uh, general setting. Okay. Which has been basically <laughs> beaten to death for the past four or five days, if not a little bit longer, uh, ending up 2016. Right. So. That's number one. He doesn't understand how technology works. OK. Um, secondly. The the intellectual property you're complaining about. OK. Um, you got to understand a thing called the Fair Use Act of 1976. OK. These lectures and interviews, et cetera, that are on these hundreds, if not thousands of YouTube channels. And other sites like Daily Motion, other video sharing websites like Facebook. Like I said, man, it, it the negativity that you talked about goes back probably because I discovered you in, in 2013, and that's when I really, really started saying, "Hey, this brother's really good. I'm gonna bring him down for a lecture," you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I saw videos when I was researching you back in 2013. I saw videos you were beefing with Sanetta. Um, you know, stuff like that. I saw negative videos of you, but because of your great speaking skills and the good information that you talk about, I still wanted you to come down and do lectures because I felt that you were a great orator, a person that's able to, you know, mobilize and, and get things going, um, for the black community. Right. So again, people can look past, you know, your negative past if they understand the information that you give out, right? The information that you give out is something that can be utilized by people in the, the so-called black community, right? And 
the tone, like I said, I, I stopped it at that particular point, but the tone of his apology, I guess you could say it's an apology. I don't know. It, it's still the same from the previous video that he was ranting against uh, General Seti. It, it's still the narcissistic tone, the, you know, I'm the king, I'm the best type of tone that really irks a lot of people. I'm not the only one that felt that way, that, that you know, by watching the video, you have that narcissistic, I'm the king, I'm the best type of tone. And, and what I say goes, that is a, you know, people who study psychology, you know, that is a real deep rooted psychological narcissistic type of behavior, you know, um, when you are great at something like he is, he's a great orator, you're not necessarily normal. You know, you have idiosyncrasies that are abnormal. And so in his, in his mind, he thinks he's, you know, the greatest things, the greatest things in sliced bread, if you will, as, you know, um, a spokesperson for the so-called conscious community, a.k.a. the contradiction community. Right. So that's the vibe that I felt listening to the apology. It just felt very narcissistic and um, just very, you know, um, self-entitlement, et cetera, et cetera. That, that, that's how I felt by, by watching that response. So, you know, it's 2017 family and Again, Dr. Umar Johnson is, is, is a guy who's always going to be booked in terms of lectures. He, you know, as he says, he's the most requested scholar, the black scholar in the community, right? That's true. He is the most requested. So the only person that's stopping Umar is himself, basically. That's the only person. He can't blame anybody but himself for stopping what he's trying to accomplish, right? All the things that, you know, you talked about in the past, like the conscious stripper incident, people questioning what you did with the money with the school, you know, um, et cetera, et cetera. And now this incident with, with Dr. with, uh, excuse me, General Seti, you know, people are willing to either look at those situations or look past it. They're going to be there forever on the Internet. They're, they're going to be there forever on Google's and Facebook servers. They're going to be there forever. OK, so it's nothing you can really do about that because we don't own or control the infrastructure of these companies. All right. Just that simple. So. So, family, th those are my quick thoughts. Um, the apology. It is what it is. It's, it's cool, I guess, you know. Like I said, he's a guy that's going to continually get booked for lectures, he's going to travel across the country and other continents around the world because he's great at what he does. All right. So he is stopping himself. He can't blame anybody else but himself. All right. That's it. That's basically it. So uh, the part of the also the part he talked about where you can't put up anything positive, but you can put up something negative. You support Walmart, you support um, the black weaves companies, you, you support Chinese food. You know, again, you're using Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you're using infrastructure that's owned and controlled by the dominant white society. Right. Black people, we, we don't own or control any of these companies that we use for social media. None of them. So when you say that statement, you should also say that black people need to get off their resources, which is owned and controlled by the dominant white society and use our own social media platforms. But in order for you to reach your audience, you have to use Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and YouTube to reach your audience, because that's where black people are at on a consistent basis. All right. So you got to touch all all aspects because that makes you look hypocritical when you say that statement. All right. So those are my thoughts, family, on the apology. Um, for those of you who have seen the full apology video, um, let me know what you guys think down below. 
about the apology. Those are just my thoughts about the apology video that he did, um, you know, for Dr. Umar Johnson. So uh, let me know what you guys think down below. All right, family, I'm signing out. Chauncey, a.k.a. the Black Separatist, signing out. Peace. Thank you.